What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now today we are going to be working on the geo tracker. What will we be doing today? We are going to continue welding the rest of the tracker. I did find one more rust spot as well as we had one more that we didn't do. So we're going to finish up that and then tidy up our wells. After that we can get to putting in the carpet and then focusing on the installation. So let's jump right in. Alrighty guys, so here is what we have so far. We ended up welding the entire floor of the driver's side. Honestly, this entire floor to me is completed. There's nothing more to do on the driver's side. I think it's good. All we have to do is get some seam sealer and we're gonna seal it off and then paint it back so it doesn't rust anywhere else, especially where I grind it off. And now I think we should work on the passenger side, fixing it up and making sure those wells will hold strong grinding out what was bad and keeping what is good. And finally, we can move on to installing the carpet. But before we can even install that carpet, I actually have to order a carpet. So I'm thinking black. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. We have two choices, either black or gray. Uh, black to me, I like it, can't see dirt. So uh, let me know in the comment section below. And um, yeah, we'll order it then. Alrighty guys, what is going on? So basically this episode is gonna have to be cut right here right now because there's not much more I can do. I have the battery charging for the grinder. Um, all I really got to do this episode was weld the rest of the flooring, whatever was needed, and we're basically done. Once I grind that little spot after the charger is finished, I will be able to fully, fully, fully seam seal it and then put the carpet on and we should be good. But I did find some other rust spots around the door frame so it's not that crazy. Let me show you what I'm talking about right now. As you can see right here, that's a hole. I thought that was plastic, but clearly not. So that's nothing too big and crazy. I have metal, so I'll just cut a nice little square, grind it out and put a little patch over that and make it look as neat as possible. I think we also have one on the passenger side as well. And on the gas door, there's a small hole as well, but I'll just get a gas door. It's not even that big of a deal. Um, other than that, after we're done with all the welding, I'll put the welder away and we don't need that anymore. And we can finally work on the engine, cleaning it, fixing the battery terminal and doing whatever else that we need to do. I am not sure what else is here. Um, all I know is we need the carpet and clean the engine, uh, clean the inside, detail the outside, and possibly maybe put a paint job on this because as you guys can see, it's faded. All this clear coat's gone. Uh, we are selling it. Um, I'm definitely gonna do a black trim again. Maybe a gold trim, paint it black and gold and have that kind of mix up going. Uh, but we did talk about rhino lining, but that was for the project. So I guess we're going to go with the original idea of black and gold. Now, looking at it open like this is insane, guys. I really want to put this mid gate and turn it into like a mini avalanche. Because right here on the edges, it looks perfect for little covers to go on top. And then here looks perfect for the mid gate. But we're going to try to bring it back to how it was to see what we can get for the channel and a potential sale. Um, hoping that we can get something really, really good for the channel. Now, I'm not 100% sure if $15,000 is a very reasonable, legit thing that was there. I don't even know if to believe that. Um, I really don't know how much we can get from it. I did look it up and in the condition, it will be after it's done. You can probably get around $2,000 for it. That's what the market says. What that lady told me, she just told me don't give it away for cheap. Um, she told me don't ever give it away for $2,000 because people are offering uh, twelve dollars to $15,000 for them. So I'm, I just, I don't know. I, I just think it's unreal. 
Uh, maybe because they don't make these anymore and they're good on gas. I'm not 100% sure, but let us see what is going on and we will work from there. So I will see you all for the next one. And if you guys like this video, please make sure that you hit the like button below and also leave a comment in the comment section below and we'll talk to y'all later. Peace. Yeah.